I thought people just want to watch me, look at me. Why can't they just look at me? What? So he's looking at Dad. Gabby's looking at Dad. Good morning, it's Sunday morning and we're in a rush. Let's get to church. Luckily it's only down the road a couple feet. A couple blocks down the road. We're all having Sophie, breakfast. We're all having breakfast. Look at Sophie's pretty hair today. I love you and haircuts. We're in a fancy shirt. We're all ready for church. Gabby's ready for church. Do you have to confess all your sins today, or is that another day? Today. No, no, not today. Just today. You do it at school, don't you? Thirteen is today's day one. We had to do it at school. Thirty first. Thirty first. Today is the first of February. February first. Yes. So quickly eating and getting ready to go. Good morning, it's Sunday morning, it is quarter to nine, come on guys, we have to go. We are on our way, out the door actually, to go to church. Um, Gabby, get your card. I'm all snuggly up. You are all snuggly up. The kitchen is in a shambles because we are getting ready to go and we're, we're going to be late. And late, for, I mean, we only live three minutes from the church, but we still like to always be a little early so we can get a good spot to sit. Um, Gabby has to, it's enrollment weekend for... Um, first communion and Gabby is making her first communion this year so yeah everybody's ready but Gabby yeah, sure. she is a not early girl born into a family that is never late she's a late girl born into a family that's never late and I think she's the only one out of five who's like that the rest of us are we panic when we get into a panic when we think we're gonna be late let's go let's go Yeah, those are the kind of gloves we wear to church. Come on. Purple or purple and black? Um, wait, I can go. Okay, well. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm headed out. I'm going to find a spot for us to sit. You guys can come along when you're done. I don't know how to handle that. I'm not done. How do you guys handle that? A kid that just cannot be on time. Yeah, you're coming with me, sister. You and I are never late. She's a girl right after my own heart. Okay, you're taking that thing off. Yeah. Alright, off we go. <coughs> We're at the church and the girls and Laura are getting the throat blessed. I don't like to bless my throat. So we'll see what happens. They the air in line getting the for the throat blessing. We are home from church. It is quarter to 11. We're gonna get some lunch. I'm having my green smoothie. Oh, you can see. That's the thing about Canada. You can't see anywhere because there's no light. But it is actually nice and sunny out today. It is so warm. Whoa, look at this room. It's so bright. We should just vlog in this room all the time. Look at that. Woo! Um, so, I'm just joking, it is not warm and sunny outside. It is sunny, but it is not warm. We just live one block away from our church, so we walk. And we didn't even walk there today. We, we ran there, we ran because it was so cold. It was just freezing cold. Um, we got our throat blessed today, so hopefully we won't get any colds, right? It's so funny though, when we came home from church, the very first thing we do when we come home from church is do what? No, what do we do? Clean, clean. No, we just did a five minute clean up because our house is a huge mess. I feel like I have wings today in my hair. Church day is always the worst hair day for me because I have to get ready so quickly. But um, yeah, the minute we walk in the door, we are like kicking off our shoes and we all run up the stairs to get changed. Right? Take care of my kitty. Sure, I'll take care of your kitty. I love her. What's her name? Jingles. Snowflake and Jingles. jingles? No, it came with the There's snowflake. No, oh. came with the jingles. Okay, well today we'll call her Snowflake because that's what Sophie wants to call her. So today she's Snowflake. 
Yeah. Alright, I'll take care of Snowflake while you go let the dogs out. Her middle name is Jingle. Oh, her middle name is Jingle. Alright, well that works. No. Um, Nick is... Yeah. Uh, Emily's still. He slept over there last night because it was her birthday. I guess she had a little party. I have to go fix my hair. It's driving me insane. Um, Kyle's upstairs. It's Sunday. What are we doing today, Sam? Relaxing? That's what we always say we're doing. Like that. Oh, sorry, I'm not very good babysitter, am I? Or Jingle, Bell, Snowflake, whatever your name is. I think I just shot a whole big thing and I didn't push record. Because, if, will the camera shut off if I'm not recording? If I am recording? Oh, no. Um, it is, so I guess I have to start again. So it is one o'clock already and we have been doing not very much of anything except for, actually that's not true, whoops, dark. Actually that's not true, Sam and I just shot a video for our channel about um, are we gonna have another baby? So if you wanna know if we are gonna have another baby then you need to watch that video. And if you are watching this, then it is already up on our channel. So check that out. Um, I was just saying to Sam that it's so weird. I wonder if it's like this for other people too, or if it's just our kids. But if we are in the kitchen, they're in the kitchen. If we are downstairs, they're downstairs. They never go off and play on their own. I mean, occasionally they do, they'll play in the room, but very rarely. They're always wherever we are and it's always noisy. But right now they're upstairs and they're playing on their own and it's awesome because it's so quiet in here. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, working on our YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah, it's so dark in this house. It looks gorgeous outside, but we know it's not because it was cold when we went to church. Um, and it's a new logo, and now we're doing that. Look at how sexy Sam looks in his nice... Yeah, that's why I don't wear it. And his nice church shirt. One of his nice church shirts. Try and scare the kids. They're playing in our room. What are you guys doing? Watching movies! You're watching movies in Dad's bed. There's one. There's in nothing on the TV. There is something There's on nothing the on the TV. We watched out Spy Kids. You watched Spy Kids? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. How come oh. I see... Lipstick. How come I see lipstick on you? Yeah. I love... Come here for a second. Lipstick. Come here for a second, Gabby. How come there's one dog here and there's one dog and there's one little dog running around downstairs? Because I didn't bring Macy up here. I didn't. Where'd you get that lipstick from? Does Remember your mom know? When we made the crayons, uh, All the crayon lipstick. Uh, Purses are something you don't need to carry. Unless you have money in them to carry them with. Emergency belt if I need it. Emergency belt. So Gabby's got an emergency, emergency belt. An emergency pig pen. And I made it pray during church. It was like this. <laughs> Alright, so we're headed off to uh, go walk Metro. down to the uh, grocery store. Metro. Then maybe to the dollar store and get a treat. Right? Maybe to Metro. We're gonna get a treat. We're going to Metro. I got a Look at it. Yeah. I'm even taller than Dad. It froze, didn't it? It's frozen now. I'm taller than. Oh, it's frozen snow pile. That's good toboggan hill right there. Cool. Yeah. Good toboggan hill. All right, let's go. Let's go walk down the store. Come on. Come on, so. Let's go. Oh. Well, we just finished at the grocery store and we, I forgot the vlog inside it. Keep forgetting I have the camera. Keep forgetting I have the camera at the grocery store. Alright, let's go. All the junk food the kids want to get. Something special in there today for dessert. Carrot cake. Carrot cake. Yeah. Gluten free carrot cake. Every time we get to a snow pile, Gabby seems to want to climb it. Uh-oh. 
Yep, at the top. Okay, come back down. Let's go. It's too cold out. Too cold. Come on, so don't get all wet. You'll be freezing. And we have a winner. Come on. Come on down. No, no, this way. That way you're not on the road. Look what I come home to. I come home to Laura carrying around a I piece of pie. Off. A piece of pie. She's okay. eating pie. No. When we leave the house, she eats pie. No. Oh my gosh. Okay, the pie is still in the box, but look at what I did. I did all the dishes. I cleaned up the kitchen. I cleaned up the playroom. I did a ton of laundry. I changed the laundry I over. Nice. Mom, guess what? Oh, I love carrot Mom, cake. Mom, guess what? We what? got to climb the mountain on the way back. What mountain? Like there was a big snow hill, and on the way there, I was like, Wee! walk, walk, walk. Gotta get down here. Fall. You fell down? Yeah, like that. That's crazy. On the snow. That's the crazy. Yeah, you are wet. Uh, I see you set up the I, little place for Macy. I see your lips are a little red. Did you bite them? Blood. No, I don't think it's blood. They're I think I think they them. were upstairs into the lipstick. I love yeah, that you start. Let's see your lips. Oh, they look normal, but I think they're red. And if you put lead something up. <laughs> you put something oh, let me see. Anytime I put a blanket anywhere, that little dog will find it. They think the blankets are just for them. Come on, my cheeks are cold. Let me feel them. Cold. Feel mine. Let me see. I can't even tell because your lips are so red. <laughs> Remember what mommy said? No my makeup. My all messy. It's just a little bit messy. It actually looks really cute today. Look at our crystal ball. Yeah, what is in our future crystal ball? Read my fortune, Gabby. I don't know. Just look in there and tell me what you think. What do you think you see? Cleo, come. Come here. You have a diamond. I have a new diamond? Yeah, I see a shape of a diamond. Is it going to be a huge diamond? A black, black. Diamond. A black diamond? Yep. What does a black diamond mean? She got it, but it's huge. Well, I prefer one week before um, Valentine's Day to hope that I'm going to get a new diamond. Gabby saw in the crystal ball that I'm going to get a new diamond. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What do you think of that? I think that's a good dream. <laughs> well, don't I deserve a good diamond, a new diamond? Guys, I know what your anniversary is going to go on to. Um, two left. Yeah, that's the pie from yesterday. Awesome. Could I have it? You guys can eat that. Yay! I'm going to have the carrot cake. Right now? No. After you center. guys can eat that instead of the carrot cake. I'm eating that and the carrot cake. Jim. Wow, you look extra tall and you look like Nick. Did you, is it really cold out? Freezing, eh? I know. Crazy. It's February. It's supposed to start getting warmer soon. No, February is not the worst month. January is the worst month. February is the worst month. It's the coldest temperature and has the most precipitation. February has the most precipitation? Oh, see? That's why I have kids, so that I can learn stuff. Learn stuff like that. Oh. Well, I don't mind precipitation. I just mind cold. Precipitation Yeah. I don't look that up though because I'm a doubter. Sometimes I think my kids just tell me stuff. They tell me crazy stuff all the time that I know is not the truth, and I, yeah, I'm gonna look that up. No. How can February? How can February have the most precipitation when um, it varies every year? I don't know, how can April have the most precipitation of the spring every year? Oh yeah, that's true. Mom, yeah, you're right. How could February, um, forgot what I was going to say. Let me do it. Did you get a cup? What are you doing? What are you guys doing? I put 
Cookie. Did you? She's terrified, Sophie. You should leave her down. Come on, Cookie. Come on. Get down. There she comes. She can do it. She can do it. Here she goes. Aw, you love her. She's going to miss you tomorrow. You're going to be back at school. Always away. Is that tea here? Hey, that's Dad's cup. Is that tea heck? here? So what I the heck? All the what are you doing with Dad's cup? That's the biggest one, right, Gabby? Mm. Yep. Yep. Mm. I drink a lot. I love chili. I'm so glad. Holy, holy, so holy. glad we're having chili. Oh, careful. You got a drink too? Your brother gave Chocolate you a nice milk. drink. Chocolate milk. And now you'll be running around, running around. I know. Well, you gave her cake first. No, she doesn't eat that stuff. She does not like it. What are you doing? What are you guys, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? We're going to Toronto. You're going to Toronto and be with your love? Are you going for the whole weekend? Like leaving Friday? Uh, leaving like Saturday. Oh, Saturday morning and coming back? Yeah, that's See, that's Saturday. what happens when you give your kid chocolate milk. And around. Well, I thought she had already had Hold me! <laughs> I thought you were just gonna go around and around. <laughs> we haven't been to the movie in a long time. I wonder what we're gonna do on Valentine's Day. I hope Sam, um, well, you won't be here to watch the girls. Nick is going to want to do something with Emily. So either... Nick and Emily stay home. Either Nick stays home and watches the girls, or whatever I do for Valentine's Day and our anniversary is going to be kid-graded. Kid-rated. Whatever we do, Sam, for Valentine's Day might have to be kid-rated. I, I read all the Fifty Shades of Grey books. And even though I, that's not my thing. I wasn't really into it. I love the story behind. I love the story part of the books. Mm -hmm. Not that long ago even at our old house um, we got, I don't forget what we were doing, but I was putting up her bed. I put up her bed while Sam was at work because I needed him to do it and he just was really slow about doing it. I would have to wait all day for him to come home. So I just got all the screws. It took screws. It's a wooden bed. So I got all the screws and I screwed it together for us and um, Sam was really impressed and so excited when he came home from work and I put the bed up and I was really proud of myself and we went to bed and it was all wonderful and then sometime like at about three o'clock in the morning all of a sudden the bed fell. <laughs> the bed fell with both of us on it and we both went ah! <laughs> and we woke up and we were laying on the floor. The bed was laying on the floor so the next day Sam put the bed up without me. Remember that time when I put the bed up by myself and it fell, broke in the middle of the night? No. Oh, well, you weren't there, but it was pretty funny. Could you tell me the story, though? I feel like I should tell the story on the vlog about... Sam told a horse story about me the other day. I don't know if you saw that vlog. Um, I will get Sam... I will try and remember to link it in the description below, um, the vlog that talks about us horseback riding. I told a story about me, how I had... Um, how I went horseback riding and it was not a fun situation for me but I have a fun horse story about Sam and Gabby was there I was about six months seven months pregnant with Sophia I was like heavily pregnant with Sophia Gabby was two almost not quite two and a half yet almost two and a half and um, Gabby was obsessed with horses when she was a baby obsessed that's why she rides horses now and every time we'd be driving along we lived kind of in um, the country and every time we'd be driving along and we'd find horses or we'd see horses Sam would stop the car and we'd have to get out and we'd have to look at these horses well anyway anyway one day Sam decided he was gonna buy Gabby a pony he looked into buying her a pony and um, he found this pony online and we phoned the guy and he said yeah come on over and I'll show you the pony and when we got there, the guy wasn't there. His son was there. It was an, a man. His older son was there. And um, 
he said, well, I'm, my dad's not here right now, so if you go <coughs> drive around the corner and um, you'll see a fence and the horses are in there, there's a big hole in the fence. If you climb through the hole in the fence, you can pet the horses and you can see them. And Sam was like, wow, we get to go and take Gabby in there and like we're right up to all their horses inside the fence. And he said there was a bucket of oats there somewhere too and that we could feed the horses. And so we were really excited and I was pregnant and I was carrying Gabby. We all got out of the car and Sam pushed his way through this little, it was a little tawny hole in the fence. So Sam pushed his way through the hole in the fence and and um, then I was carrying Gabby and I came through the hole in the fence next. And the horses were so far down in the field. They were way, way, way far down in the field and there were a lot of them. And um, so there, and it was all swampy there. The, the ground was so swampy, it was terrible. And so there's this, this tiny little path that we could walk on. So I was carrying Gabby and Sam was walking ahead of us and he's walking down toward the horses. And I can hardly even tell the story. It makes me laugh so hard. And I'm walking behind him. I have my head down watching where I'm stepping. And all of a sudden Sam stops in front of me. He just stops dead and I bump into him. And he starts to, and he says to me, go back. And I'm like, what, what do you mean go back? And then he starts screaming, go back. <laughs> go back. And he turns around and he starts pushing me ahead of him to go back. So, no, he pushes her out of the way. Well, no, he pushes me, so I'm like walking to go back, and he is like screaming behind me, Go, go, go! <laughs> and he's like pushing me, and I can tell that he just wants to push me aside and run ahead of me. So we get to the fence. And he literally pushes me to the side and he gets to the fence and he's about to climb through the fence before he realizes that he's left his pregnant wife and his two-year-old behind. And what had happened is that as we were walking towards the horses while they were far off, they suddenly discovered that we were there and they came galloping towards us. They were just so excited they wanted to see us. But all Sam saw when he stood there in front of us was these many, many huge horses wait, wait, wait. <laughs> galloping at us. And I have to clarify <laughs> something. What Laura forgot to tell you was that there was a dinosaur there. <laughs> it was a huge dinosaur of a horse. It was a big <coughs> shire horse. Huge. And 20 was... feet tall. <laughs> Well, anyways, I, Sam was so petrified of those horses, and I, just from looking at them, I could tell that they were just really excited, and we were, by the time they got to us, they were just like, hey, yeah, we're here. Do you want to say hi to us? They didn't care, but um, Sam did um, help us through the fence at the last, and I think, it, now that I remember, I think he did go through the fence and leave us in there because he was so worried, but um, I was heavily pregnant and I could not stop laughing. I just laughed and laughed and laughed and there were no people around and I, I was about to pee my pants. I was laughing so hard I was about to pee my pants and I was gonna squat in the grass and just pee there but I, yeah, it was just, I actually ended up peeing my pants because I was just laughing so hard. So that's my Sam story, my Sam horse story. Oh, we're getting ready to watch Super Bowl. Which losers are picking uh, the losing team? I'm on Seahawks. Seahawks. You're both picking Seahawks? Seahawks. They're picking the losing team? Yeah. I want the Patriots to win. But Seattle. Patriots are going to win. That's the Raiders never went anywhere this year. Seattle. Seattle. <laughs> Raiders won three games this year. Raiders went nowhere this year. Seattle? Because I'm the lone wolf. I'm the lone wolf with the right winning team again. No, 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 no. You going for Daddy's Daddy. team? Daddy. Oh, Sophie and I Daddy. are going for I, my team. <laughs> What's our team again? I don't know. New England Patriots? Uh, yeah. Daddy. All right. Your own pack? Well, you'll soon learn that you never pick a losing team. Never all pick, I, always always pick Dad's team. I mean, if you want to win money during the Super Bowl, you always pick the team that Sam picks. Sam always wins money on the Super Bowl. Me and Mark have bet against the Patriots for three years. Can you have to win this Sam team? money yeah, every time. The Patriots are going to win this. The Patriots won three right. years in a row. Oh, I'm going to sit down. We're going to watch. Let's say goodnight and end this sucker.
Let's end this vlog. <laughs> Let's end it so we can watch Super Bowl. Make sure it's at one of the most Super Bowls. And well, we're going to we're gonna pick the underdogs, the Patriots. No, they're not the underdogs. Yes, they are. No, they won last year. The Patriots are the underdogs. I know, we're not. The Patriots are the underdogs. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Seattle is everybody's pick. We are picking... Seattle won last year. The Patriots, Seattle right? Seattle dominated this season. We're picking Patriots. We'll see what happens. I could be a winner or a loser. I can go 50-50 here. 50-50 chance. Seattle. All right, we're going to say goodnight. Going to say goodnight? Goodnight. Good night. And subscribe. See you tomorrow. I can make my own pasta. Show everybody. Look at what happened to Sophie. Gorgeous. Oh, show me the back of your hair. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna show that. <laughs> but yeah, Sophie said when I got her out of the tub last, this morning, she said God is telling me to cut my hair, and she feels good and fresh and free of all that weight. And Gabby still has her nice long hair. Yeah, I love it. Some people are meant for long Next, hair. Stop it. Sophie's hair is gonna grow. It's just gonna keep on growing, but she'll be fresh and. I'm gonna cut it again. Yeah, I love getting my hair cut. I might go get my hair cut soon too. Yeah, I'm, I'm due.